Welcome back to Spectrum vs. Raw 2008 General Manager Mode. I am your host, Attack Slug, and today is some pay per view beardness. It is indeed the Great American Bash in Indianapolis, Indiana. I drove through there once. So let's check out John Cena on the magazine here and check out our roster, which is. Uh, we have some talent here who is upset. That is Umanga. He is mad about some things. He wants to win some matches. So today we must stack the deck at the end of our thumbs down feud between him and myself. We'll stack the deck and make sure he wins and gets that big old dub here on the show today. Meanwhile, Batista wants negotiations. Booker wants negotiations. Randy wants negotiations. And Taker... He wants a shot of gold. Now, I'm not putting him in the match today at this show between Austin and Cena. That's not going to happen, dead man. But at some point, that will happen, and we'll kind of make that a reality. But also, I gotta look at my... Alright, so Booker is out for this show, unfortunately. I can't help that. If he is injured, we have Booker and Ray fatigued the most. And then everyone else is kind of whatever. Now then, let's see. We can't do this match, obviously, so this is going to get vacated completely. So, non-title match, and it will be a vacant thing for now. And we will put... Oh, right, we can't run promos because we don't have... You know what? You know what? I'm going to make you work injured. I don't want to, but I'm going to. So, I don't want to lose the tail end of the ratings here for this feud between Edge and Booker T. So, unfortunate reality of the situation is that he's gonna have to work hurt here, Book. Gonna have to work hurt, Book, for that U.S. title, which I think, yeah, Edge has it, so you're not gonna win that belt there injured, but that is unfortunately that reality of that particular matchup. But this match continues as regular, so does that, so does this, uh, I think, let's see, our Cena and Stone Cold, it's pay-per-view, man. It's pay-per-view. So, we need to have a Hell in a Cell at pay-per-view, perhaps? Look, I, I got some options here. And it is pay-per-view, so yes, we're going to use the option to have Hell in a Cell at the Great American Bash. Pop those ratings, please and thank you. So, that's that match. Edge and Booker, look, Booker's already hurt. So, these guys, though, tag team in a match, two-on-two, can we have a TLC Tag Team Contest for those Tag Team titles? Yes, we can. Now, Ray is indeed up there in his fatigue, so unfortunately that's going to be the case with that. That'll stay the same. Don't want to have Ray get hurt. But this match is going to change here quite a bit because Umaga needs a win, which means it's going to be a one-on-three. So, handicap, one-on-three, and it's going to be... Myself, who has to lose here, versus Umaga, versus Undertaker, and versus Batista. So, all the monsters to take me out here to end this feud between myself and the bulldozer is the plan there. So, handicap one on three, cruiserweight with a manager, TLC tag team tornado matchup, US title regular, and then hell in a cell between John Cena and Stone Cold Steve Austin. I definitely should not be making King Booker work with a concussion with a 100% impact on his performance, but at the same time, when you look here into the rivalries, we're at the end of this particular rivalry with a two thumbs up. I don't want to lose that on the big show. So if a book gets hurt further, we have Batista. We have Jeff Hardy. He can be out for a while and we'll be fine. So it, it, it's a risk, but it is a very calculated risk with the current roster that I have here. So I'm sorry, Book, but you got to work today. You got to go into work today. It's not healthy. It's bad for your brain, but you got to work today. So this is our card for the show to end some of these, but I, I know this one here is going until SummerSlam. So confirming the card. This might go real wrong, but what else is new in my life? Let's watch this handicap one-on-three destruction of your boy. So here we go. Time to get destroyed. And I just about 
have enough of a roster now to do those like faction four star deals. So that is quite possibly a thing to do here for the next until SummerSlam or beyond. Because again, ideally, you want a 10 week rivalry for your business. And uh, that, that is the plan to maximize those three thumbs up to maximize your star ratings and get to be the GM of the year. Moving on, let's get all of these giant monsters who are going to totally and thoroughly destroy me into the ring, guys. Come on now. Umaga wants a win. Umaga's going to get a win. And all I can say for myself is, you don't it now. Don't have made a big mistake. Because, man, I tried to bring Taker to fight Umaga and then Batista to fight Umaga and they all realized what I was doing and turned on me and are just making me pay and suffer here on pay-per-view on the Great American Bash. Thank you for the wrestling is a great sign. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Anyhow, I'm fighting back. Not sure how. Like, it's not very wise. Just lay down. Just get pinned, but no. They want that destruction and devastation and, more importantly, the victory. So I, I would imagine that three versus one, no matter who gets the pinfall here, it should be counted as a Umaga. Oh my god. Choke slam from the top. Good lord. This should count as a Umaga victory, regardless of who pins me. I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to count on that, but I'm pretty sure. Triangle choke from the dead man. Will just like, look, at that point, just tap, man. Just let it be over. Let it be over. Like, that's ridiculous. How you, how I'm even fighting back at this juncture is not, not gonna happen. There it is, Atomic Drop from Umaga. The crowd going wild to finally see a tax like at his just desserts here on the program as these three men dissect our poor, poor host here. But still, there is fight left in a tax slug. Wanted to choke slam Umaga? That's not going to happen. Oh, there it is. Going downstairs. What else is new? Just kick. Say, oh no! The bulldozer hit Taker by accident. Attacks like fighting back. Like, if we saw CM Punk beat the Shield, I mean, look, I'm not saying it's possible. I'm saying that it shouldn't happen because I should be getting my tail whipped here. And I'm not here to make him look strong, as they say. Or as CM Punk said about Roman Reigns. A long time ago. A long time ago. The headbutts. You don't want to get headbutts from a Samoan. They hurt even worse than a regular headbutt. And a PK with no shoes. Batista picks him up and uh, tosses him into the corner. And I hear the finishing up. Nope, fighting back from the camel clutch. I think Batista has that bomb ready to go. But will he? Oh, to the outside. Now, if I was smart... I'd get a weapon here and get myself disqualified. But clearly, I'm not too bright. So, if anything, if I get a count-out victory, I'll take that. But, again, the whole point here is to make sure that I do not win this matchup. That is the entire, entire point uh, that Umaga is upset and wants a victory. So we give him on a silver platter... A victory. Why the fans went boo when he got a shot at the belt because we mixed feuds there last time. Okay, now now I know better. But again, I didn't want this this I didn't want this feud to drop. I didn't think it would go into a thumbs down. So unfortunate, but that is the name of the game. As Batista hitting them just chops on the outside to the chest. Like, look, Batista, don't you get yourself counted out? I swear, that would not... Oh, no, the animal! He's ready! Somehow, there is still fight left in the slug, but not for much longer. I predict a knockout. And the choke slam? The choke slam. The choke slam? No choke slam. The choke slam? Bro, how are you gonna hold me there? Just, what, what was that? Like... And then just, yeah, all right, all right, sure, fine. 
this is longer than I thought it would be. And at a certain point, just let it be over. Just tap out. Yes, tap to Umaga. Please. Tap a tap a tap a. How much more suffering can you... There it is, yes. And thankfully now, undeniably, Umaga won that match if I got his win. And hopefully he's not upset now at me as a GM. There is the victory. Umaga and Sager and Batista. Your winners of this opening contest. And they're all pretty hyped to beat up a very tiny man. You know, look, I am clearly not a super heavyweight in this game or in real life at all. So, all right, cool. Moving on, Mysterio versus Matt Hardy. What do we have for the cruiser weight? For the cruiser weights, we have Mysterio winning that matchup. Tag team TLC Tornado and Randy Sandman, your champions. Edge versus King Booker. I'm going to say has to be Edge, right? Yep, because Booker was hurt. And Hell in a Cell. John Cena, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, Stone Cold wins that Hell in a Cell matchup. Show me the ratings. Fan change. Smackdown. 775K. You love to see it. Was it a five-star show? So ECW gets four stars. Raw gets three stars. Smackdown. One, two, three, four, five stars. Smackdown, baby. It's about time. ECW, th three. Raw, three. Smackdown, 2.92. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. You... You tell me fan change of 775k, but I'm still under 3 million at the same as last week. I don't get it. I don't understand. But look, we have a jump there from 11% to 18%. Making progress. Phone, phone, phone. All right, who, who got hurt here? Who got hurt? John Cena has a sprained knee. Four weeks, but only a 10% impact on his performance. So actually, that's not too bad. So perhaps John Cena keeps working with that sp sprained knee until SummerSlam. Because that should be in like four weeks, I'm pretty sure. Now then, pay-per-view. I applaud you. Five-star ratings. Salute your good business sense. Don't let me down, VKM. But also, yes, okay. Why I got the same email twice there, I'm not sure, but I'll take the same thing if it gives me more of a boost here in my report. All right, so top five. Why is top five, but not top ten? Top 15, uh, yes. Achieve a five-star for any pay-per-view twice. That was one show, but okay, sure. And five-star pay-per-view show. Oh, there were two five-star matches on that show, and there was one five-star show. So, all right. That's cool. That's cool. But we have some injuries to deal with. So, let's check on our fan support. And so why do the do the numbers mean nothing? You can see a giant blue jump there, but the viewer number does not change. I'm not sure what the hell the deal is. But you can see SummerSlam is on the horizon. So financials, we have 3.1 million in the bank, it appears. And also we have Power 25. Uh, has this changed or no? This is not changing until tomorrow. So let's get to Raw, I think. Are we, we're, we're already on Raw. So let's do one thing here, which is, let's, t first of all, First of all, that was three and a half, that was four, that was four and a half, that was five with an injury. So, thank you, Booker T, and that was five. So, two fives, and yes, that was a five-star show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But Raw, let's do our events and activities here, and give the charity event to me, and do that. And then see what happens with, uh, if that changes anything on the Power 25, or not. Or no, 
I didn't do anything because it was only one day. So one day is not going to change much in terms of that, which is fine. But again, I have to build up myself. I have to build up Matt and Jeff Hardy and then whoever else is underneath us on our overall ratings here. So let's check on that real quick before we wrap things up today for a short day, thankfully. Oh man, Cena and Austin. That Hell in a Cell took a lot out of them. A lot, a lot, a lot. They're not going to be in my main event. That's going to be a push the feud off for at least two weeks because that's going to cause more injuries. Like, good lord. But I can't afford the wrestling. I'm going to lose 15 points on wrestling. So that's no no good. So yes, that is uh, real, real rough for those guys. But before that, um, yeah. So Randy Batista, Taker, Ray, Booker, Crime Time. And then myself, Umaga, and the Hardys. So that's kind of our next up here to get up into the 80s and 90s is myself, Umaga, and the Hardys. So, sure. But otherwise, fatigue, yeah, we got Sandman's up there too. And then four, 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 life, brother. So, one rivalry finished. And I do believe the other ones are still going until... I don't think they're all going until SummerSlam, are they? I don't actually... Wait, what? Oh, this is the last week of these. I think it says the, the bash. So this, this is the bash. This is the bash. This is SummerSlam. And this, all right. So two of them go until SummerSlam for a 13-week deal. And these are a nine-week deal. So these, these should be ending this week on the program, I think. We'll see what happens when we actually get the SmackDown. That'll, that'll be tomorrow on the show. Thanks for watching more videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.